Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel and it's actually been quite a while since I've actually recorded a Royal High video and that's mostly because I've been working on some projects like the Animal Crossing uh, Royal High video that I'm still working on, I'm not quite finished there with that yet and also I've been working on some wing designs for that Halloween contest for the game so yeah I've been working on a bunch of stuff so I've just not found any time really to <laughs> record any Royal High videos but I'm going to be back into a schedule now because because I've really missed it and I kind of need to get back into the swing of things so yeah today I am going to be um, making some future themed videos futuristic is a theme because that was the last um, that was the winner from the last video from the poll now usually I do a little intro about the history of the theme and things but I really don't think it needs it for this theme I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory in a way because futuristic it's just stuff that's like sci-fi it's stuff that's like space themed it's stuff that you think people might be wearing in the future I really don't think it really needs much of an explanation to that yeah so it's just sort of like high-tech sort of style like I can throw up some pictures here um, of what like sci-fi stuff is, things like Star Wars and um, what are some other sci-fi movies like Guardians of the Galaxy is kind of sci-fi so things like that and anything that's sort of space themed I feel like is <laughs> uh, futuristic in a way um, and anything that's sort of maybe post-apocalyptic in some way it, it, there's a lot of things that can be classed as futuristic it's just whatever you think it means but yeah anyway I, I'm stuck <laughs> So anyway, let's get started with the video. So this first outfit that I went for here is with the woman package and I decided to go with a high-tech sci-fi sort of style for this one. I can't remember who made the actual outfit itself, um, so I do apologise, but it's this white one here. Um, or it's very light blue with the neon blue highlights on it and I feel like it matches that style really well and I was going with the mecha wings because I thought that matched with the high tech style um, and I couldn't decide on a skirt and I wanted a visor and I just won that visor that day from the wheel um, and I wanted to use it in some way um, but if we had like over the face visor like the rainbow one that we could retexture I would have used that instead so maybe in the future that could be a possible change to the game maybe I'd like to be able to retexture that but yeah I went with the thigh high boots in the end and I realized I could use the belt to cover up that little gap and yeah I really like how this one turned out it's um, sort of with the space buns too it kind of goes with that sci-fi sort of style um, so yeah I really like this outfit a lot Okay, this next outfit, it is a male package, the boy, Roblox boy package, I believe, and this one, I think, is a holographic sort of slash modern style. I know it's futuristic, but I always see like holographic and shiny kind of full-on outfits like that, um, futuristic in a way. Like if you go back to the 90s um, and people look forward to like what we're living in now, they would probably have, you know... If you look at like music videos and stuff from that time period, um, it's a lot of like shiny um, stuff like that and like holographic and yeah, it kind of associated with the future in some way. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I went with like that holographic. And this hairstyle, I'm not sure why it makes my head look like a halo, but it's really cool. So I wanted to use it, but then I was like, no, it's literally making me blind. So <laughs> I changed it to this purple and it made it look uh, a lot like the holographic suit I put on the character and I wanted a visor style thing going again but I just couldn't get it to work how I wanted it so I sort of messed with a few different accessories I think I went with the angelic hair clips in the end um, because that sort of is kind of futuristic in my mind I don't know why I just feel like it has that sort of um, uh, not of a now style you know what I mean does that make any sense? Probably not. But yeah, I <laughs> I, I kind of liked how this one turned out. I, I I like the purple hair and stuff, and I feel like it's um, sort of some people's idea of what uh, futuristic styles could be. Um, and yeah, it's kind of spacey in a way. But this next one here, I base this off of the Hunger Games. Now, a lot of you might have already read it or seen the films, um, but the, stores, the sort of um, styles that they have, like the people in the capital have in that film, um, it's not necessarily futuristic, but it is like a... Um, I'm not sure what the genre is called. It's like, it is like sci-fi to some degree because of... Um, 
um, the high tech amount of stuff that they have that's like stuff we don't have now and a bit imaginary in a way um, but it's kind of like post-apocalyptic as well isn't it um, so that's sort of the style I went for with the like they have a lot of like animal themed outfits so I wanted to go with like a leopard suit and bright bright coloured hairs and the makeup that they have it's kind of like different in style too um, usually they have like stuff um, cosmetically done to like have like look more like animals and things like that you'll know if you've seen the film or read the books like the style is very very unique so I wanted to do something based off of that because I feel like that is also some people's interpretation of futuristic styles. I thought it's an interesting one. Um, you know, a lot of people might not actually go for this. A lot of people might not get the reference to it. But if you like, um, you know, for the purposes of this video, it's it's uh, it kind of goes to the theme. So yeah, um, I think with a lot of these outfits you do for these themes, um, you can just do absolutely anything you want. I'm just giving a guide to, you know, what I feel like style-wise could fit into the theme of these pageants. And yeah, I feel like if you go with this futuristic one, anything that's high-tech, sci-fi, space-themed, pretty much goes to the futuristic theme, in my opinion. And yeah, this is the final outfit. I ended up putting the mask on the ears, um, the hoop earrings and the also the the diamond earrings as well I, I think that's what's called I don't know <laughs> but yeah I kind of really liked how this one turned out and I feel like somebody in the capital would wear that outfit um, and so the last outfit I made is another woman's package outfit and I wanted to use the corset in this one because I like to use um, like the corset at least once I, I sort of tried to stay away from using the typical accessories that I usually use in this video I ought to stop using that <laughs> floor leg skirt and the dolly heels um, but yeah I went with uh, this space princess sort of style um, and it starts to come together in a second um, and I couldn't decide on what hair I wanted to use and stuff and yeah I went with that short one in the end with like black and blue, like blue tips on the end. Um, and yeah, I changed, I used this Mademoiselle skirt and I changed it to that texture so it matched perfectly. And there we go, there it's, it's sort of coming together now. Um, and I changed up the makeup and stuff. Um, and the accessories, I used the earrings ones because that's sort of astronomy themed and spacey themed. So I went with those and then a tiara so it was like a space princess. And I couldn't decide on what space themed wings I wanted. The galaxy themed wings I wanted to wear. Um, nothing that matches too perfectly to the colours really. Um, so I went with the blue and green because that's kind of the closest I could get. And yeah, I really, really liked how this one turned out. Um, yeah, I just love those Aries horns and how you can retexture them. And the tiara with them works really nice. And it's just like, she's like a little space princess. <laughs> and yeah, if you wanted to, you could actually use these luminescent soldier wings. And because they've been retextured recently, so they could also work very well to a futuristic theme. Yeah, that's something I didn't really mention. The mecha wings and these, these uh, wings that I have on now are pretty good to go with this theme. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I always love and enjoy making these pageant themed videos. Um, and I might try something a bit different for the next one. I have something planned, but I'm not gonna tell you what yet. <laughs> But I'm not going to tell you what yet. <laughs> but yeah, I am actually going to be getting back into a proper schedule now and uploading more often. And with Halloween coming um, very soon, from the start of October, I'm going to be doing like spooky things all month to do with Royal High, so I can't wait for that. Um, <laughs> and I probably will, for these pageant theme videos, I might stop doing the polls just for October so I can pick out some of the more spooky themes to do for that month like there is a haunted theme people have requested and I've sort of um, not put it in the polls on purpose because I wanted to save it for October and there is also a Halloween theme as well um, and yeah I might um, leave you to suggest some of the spooky Halloweeny sort of themed pageant themes for this for October. So yeah, I will leave up the poll for the next video and the next video will be the last one for a while where I will have a poll up. But also do leave your comment suggestions below for what themes you wanna see for the Halloween themed of pageant themed videos. Um, 
for the ones that I'm going to do during October, so let me know about those. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching everyone, and I will see you in my next video, which is going to be tomorrow, so <laughs> I will see you all then. Goodbye!